with the Delta variant continuing to spread. Many people around here want to keep wearing their masks, even though the mask mandate is over. But some have other reasons for not wanting to ditch the mask yet, even if they are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. So joining us live is the lead author of a new study that analyzed those reasons. Dr. Gadi Haidar, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for having me. So I want to ask you first, what did this study set to find out? So our uh, objectives really were to try to understand antibody responses to the COVID-19 vaccines among a large and diverse group of um, immunocompromised people, including people who have had organ transplants, cancers, HIV and autoimmune conditions, and compare them to those of otherwise healthy people. How did you use people's blood to test their response to the vaccine? Yeah, so we waited until people had completed their their um, vaccine series, and then we collected a single uh, tube of blood from them and looked for whether they were making antibodies, and if they were, how high the antibody levels actually were. And then for a subgroup of these patients, we did some more testing and looked and see if these antibodies can actually neutralize or kill the COVID-19 virus. Who are the people that the study found to be struggling to build those antibodies and fight back against COVID? Yeah, so not surprisingly, the immune responses were diverse and really differed based on what your underlying condition was. So in healthy people, there was a 98% response, but in people who had organ transplant, it was about 37%. So only 37% of transplant patients made antibodies. About 50% or so of people with uh, blood cancers made antibodies. And then if you look at people with solid cancers, so things like breast cancer and colon cancer and things like that, and autoimmune conditions like Crohn's disease and rheumatoid arthritis, about 80% or so produced uh, antibodies. And then people with HIV, about 94% of them made antibodies. So pretty similar to people who are otherwise healthy. Is there anything that you were surprised to learn? I was just surprised to see how low the solid organ transplant rates were compared to everyone else. Mm -hmm. It was also surprising to see that lung transplant patients were much had much lower um, antibody response rates compared to the others. I think we might be the first study to um, have shown this. The other thing that surprised me as well is that um, antibody levels, as in how high your antibody levels are, were pretty consistent across all groups, again, except for organ transplant recipients. What is the takeaway for this when it comes to masking? So the takeaway is that we vigilance is needed and people whose immune systems are weak absolutely still need to wear masks and socially distance and everyone in their bubble has to be vaccinated in order to protect them. Dr. Haidar, thank you so much for joining me tonight and for sharing all the results of this study and the information. Thank you.